Sadcast. Sadcast, the only podcast on the internet. My name is Billy Marciafava. Oh, that's a big claim. Wait. Hold on. Mr. Suit. Yeah. To the left of me. I'm an international recording artist, Billy Marciafava. Okay. And this is Sadcast, the only podcast on the internet. Did I say that already? You did. Okay. Anyways, how you guys doing? It's another week. I, I said it was a big claim. The only one on the internet. Yeah. What are all one. the other ones? They're not podcasts? Um, they decided to take a break. Oh, okay. Because we have a podcast now. Um, they heard. They were like, they were like, wow, Billy, Billy Marshafava has a podcast? Yeah. Bro, we got to quit. Isn't that crazy? I mean, it was bound to happen. You yeah. Know? It's like, so, but look, man, how you doing? I'm, I'm going to try to ask you how your week was. At the beginning. Instead of at the instead end. Instead of at the end. So it's not like we already talked about it. I got the crushed ice on deck. Look, I'm wearing my glasses, and I want to tell you something real quick before you let me know about your exciting, riveting week. Mm. I love these glasses. Like, these glasses are mean everything to me, but mm. audio listeners, I know you're confused. I got little red glasses on. They mean everything to me, but I cannot wear them for the entirety of this, this episode because I cannot see anything. Yeah. And I'm a visual learner. Right. So So I'm taking these off. I was I was I was wondering if you're gonna try to go the whole episode with but those. But I, I think the first episode I was wearing those. No, weren't they white? Wasn't it like white ones you had or something? Maybe. I should have worn the ones that you got me with the sharks on. <laughs> yeah. The or the, the yeah, the shark camo we'll call it. Yeah, man, those those glasses, these are these are something else. Um but yeah, okay, so I just had to get time that out I'm of the in way. a dollar store, man. I go yeah. right to the glasses, mm-hmm. go look at the kids' one, see if I can see a good-looking one. Dude, they're so and then, funny. And then I pick them up for you. <laughs> they, it's like, I've had people say, like, is your face just so big? Because, like, they just think that these are, like, like normal. Regular glasses. Like, I think I found, like, I think I found these at a thrift store. I'm telling you, the thrift stores are the cr- when you find the crazy ones. Like, this, is, this isn't this is even normal. I'm pretty sure this was probably on a fucking doll or something. Right, like, yeah. That's, like, that's, like, even smaller than... Than kids got... Yeah, this yeah. is something else. But anyways, man, how was your week? Seriously. I want to know. I want to uh, hear all about it. Uh, well, it was, you know, it was good. Yeah? What'd you do? Sure. I uh, worked. Okay. As per usual. I made some progress on some things at work, though. Okay. So that's that's pretty great. It is so cold down here. When I talk in this mask, my glasses are just like is there, fogging. It... <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you know, I mean, I'm anyone... pretty sure that could be. I oh. think the camera sees that. Yeah, I see that. Wait, is your is your mouth like making like smoke? <sighs> when I talk, my that's my, crazy. It, I, my egregiously hot breath is fogging up my glasses from how cold it is down here. That's funny. Whoa. Do it again. I mean, if you like inhale and suck all the air out, hold on. Bro, that's like, I don't know if that's like the coolest thing I've ever seen or like the grossest thing I've ever seen. Breath glasses, you like dude. suck the hot air up and it goes away. I can like blow down. I, I've i got like that. You need, to get a, you need to get a heater, bro. That was that was like my big thing when we everyone was wearing masks for COVID. Everyone with glasses suffered. Because like if it was a cold day yeah. and you, you were like breathing in the mask, it would just blow up into your I glasses just, and... I couldn't stand like mask breath. Like, oh, because you had to smell your own breath all the time, <laughs> dude. <laughs> like, so many people probably got better oral hygiene. Yeah, no, I, I, if there's anything I need to work on or needed to, it was oral hygiene, and I've, I've gotten better, but I still, uh, you know, I wish I wasn't the type of person that had to consciously think like, yeah, you better brush your teeth today, because, like, I do, but like some people, it's just so habitual. But, yeah. like, I, like, I catch myself, like, about to walk out the door at least three times a, a week, maybe less, maybe two, three times a week. And I'm like, oh, forgot to brush my teeth. Yeah, I'll catch it myself when I'm about to walk out the door, and then I'll be like, ah, let's do it when I get back. Yeah, like, and then you don't for a week. And then I, Yeah, and then I forget when I get back. And then I just do it at night. Like, because most of the time I'll brush my teeth. I brush my teeth, like, at night, not in the morning. Because it's like, you brush it at night, you go to bed, mm-hmm. like. I'm not eating anything. Yeah. So then it's like, I go through the day and then my teeth are dirty and then yeah. I brush them again at night. I like brushing my teeth in the morning though. It's like, it's, you know, feels like I'm like a, a new man. Like it's fresh. Yeah. Good start. 
I uh, I wanted to apologize for being late today. I wanted yeah. to tell Were you, you why it happened. Uh, it, it didn't seem like it because it's still relatively early. So it's like it's still like the time we normally do it. But like I guess yeah, you left at like two, and then you were like you weren't here until now. So there's, that's a pretty long travel time. Um, so I was having the worst case of bubble gut all earlier this evening. Mm. Um, that's why I don't swallow my bubble gum. <sighs> I, you know, I, I was, I ate three packages of big league chew. <laughs> just fucking ate it. <laughs> just ripped it open. You, you like, like that Aww. shit? You ever try that shit? Big Bro, league I haven't chew? liked big league chew since I was like fucking 10 or something. They still sell it at any gas station you go to. Back and, that, when... and that grape and that grape. Yeah. I... Did you know that that's supposed to like, that's supposed to pretend like it's tobacco, yeah, right? Yeah, tobacco. Because the baseball players all would do chewing tobacco, and then the kids would want to do that. So it was like, big league chew. I didn't know that. Pretend you're addicted, like your yeah. favorite star. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I still, every so often, I'll get, a, I'll get a pack of the grape. Yeah. Good shit, man. I mean, the, there's not a wide variety of, like, grape gums on the market when you really think about it. so Not like that big league chew. No, it scratches an itch yeah. that I don't have ever. Um. <laughs> So no, I di- I didn't eat any bubble gum, but um, last night I got some ice cream. Mm-hmm. Very late at night. Oh no! Uh, talking like twelve thirty, like it was like it was past midnight. I uh, was about to go to sleep, but then I, you know, you ever just like say fuck it, and t- for, like you know you forget that free will exists, right? Yeah, you, you forget just... that you don't have the you have the autonomous will checkbox. Yeah. And sim. I just got in the car and I, I went to, uh, well, it was actually oh, you funny. like went somewhere to get ice cream. Yeah. Well, at this time, at this time of night, there wasn't like anything like on, on like uh DoorDash or Uber Eats wasn't like, no, I just thought maybe you had ice cream in your house or something. No, no, no. I actually, I, I don't really crave ice cream that much. So like, I don't keep it in the house too much. Yeah. I'll get, I'll get a uh, sorbet every so often, mm. um, or sherbet, um, mm. I like to sp- I like to stock the finest gelatos. Yeah, um, you like sherbet uh, sh- sorbet? Yeah. I just I call I do actually call it sherbet, even though kind it's kind of. It's I mean, a, it's pretty it's, good. It's it's like the dreamsicle, the dreamsicle, like like the orange, like. Mm. I'll tell you this: I I had a weird craving last night for uh, like a McDonald's shake. Yeah. So I ended up getting one. Oh, what time? Uh, like ten thirty. What, what flavor I, shake I, that's was That's when it? I woke up. You woke way. up at 10.30? I went, I went to go lay down upstairs because I was getting a migraine from the oh. dogs barking. Oh, migraines. And I went up there and I turned off the light and I was just laying in bed and I passed the fuck out at 7.55 and woke up at like 10. Did that like fuck you up like for the rest of the night? No, nah, I mean, I got back to sleep at like uh, 2 a.m., not too bad. Which is like when I when it's a weekend, like I, I go to bed around like two AM on the weekends and then like if it's a weekday I'll go to bed at like, you know, fucking old man time. Yeah. Like I'm up and going to ready for bed at like nine. I wanna say I'm so sorry for anyone listening that experiences migraines. I don't get them very often. I had one like last week. Yeah. Oh my god, dude! Like, how do you function? How do you? How do people even do? I know people that get it, get them a lot, like as if they're just like your average headaches, and it's like, I just, I feel for y'all because, like, yeah, I don't, I don't get regular headaches. How do I you get migraines? How do you even? I mean, imagine if, like, like I would call into work if I if I had a job <laughs> <laughs> where I had to where I had to go somewhere. Just text yourself. I no. <laughs> Open I message. Yo, I can't come in today. Me. Well, like, seriously, dude, I would, like, I would really not be able to go to work. Uh, I mean, there were times when I was working at GameStop where, like, I would legit cheers have to, yeah, I would legit have to fucking go in the back room and just, like, turn off the light and just sit there and, like, cover my eyes and, like, for, like, five minutes just to try to make it go away, pop some, like, Excedrin. I told you about when I had a migraine and I was saying that it's, like, your eyes being closed is not enough. It's no, it's not. <laughs> you you, you to need to you need eyes. to pop the Excedrin and then like you have to put pressure, dude. Like, I you have to like press on your eyes. I had one of those eye masks, and I tightened it up as hard as I could, and I felt I felt like 
I don't know. I felt like a cartoon character or something with my little eye mask on, but like tighten it as much as I could. That was even like, I had to make sure like my head was in the pillow. So it was like a void, like not dark, like a void of nothingness. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like my eyes being closed was just not cutting it. And I was, that's when I realized it was a migraine. I was like, wow, this is, this is different. But how did you finally break the migraine? It just like, just I, like you I, went I to sleep. Don't get much fucking choice. I just, well, yeah, that, that day. So yesterday was like, I just ended up passing out. Um, I just had like, I, what I'll do is, and it's weird. Cause like normally, you know, when you have migraines, sound is the worst experience. Yeah. So I'll like have the TV on and I'll turn off the lights and I'll put on like fucking some like restoration channel where there's like sanding stuff and doing things and I'll turn it really low because it's kind of like white noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll just kind of like lay there and I'll just like rub my eyes and listen to like the kind of really low white noise of like grinders or sanders or them like fiddling with stuff and it Yeah. It'll help relax me, which which helps a little, but really what it comes down to is it's waiting for the fucking meds to kick in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like waiting for those that I, I don't know what it is, but it's like that little Excedrin. bit extra that, that extra caffeine and that excedrin mm-hmm. is really what helps. Yeah, for sure. Um and then it you know, it can be it can be worse sometimes because when I was working at GameStop, sometimes I wouldn't like I wouldn't drink, you know, if I was working a morning shift, I wouldn't get my morning coffee in. And I don't know if you've ever experienced a combo of a caffeine and a caffeine headache and migraine at the same time. No, it's not great. How could you even tell which one's which? Like they just, they just both suck at the same time. Hardly <laughs> like it's, it's really bad. And I like went, it, cause I had to take Excedrin, but then there wasn't enough caffeine. So I had to go like get a monster from the, 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 smoke shop next door yeah and like chug it so it was like i solved one problem and i was still in pain and i was like what the hell and then ended up just being a caffeine headache wow yeah migraines aren't fun no they're they're like fuck fuck you yeah yeah Yeah. (laughs) your body's just like you know what would be really fun right now fuck you (laughs) (laughs) and you can't do anything you can't function you can't like try to work on anything or get anything yeah, done I still get stuff done depends because like i've gotten i think i think it depends on the person like if you're one of those people that like i don't get regular headaches i only get migraines yeah so like if you're one of those people that you get them all the fucking time it you, just becomes like that you you have a remedy you know what you got to do right you're like you pop your pills you you go close your eyes for a little bit and rub them and you know take a 10 minute break yeah. and then you get right back to what you're doing that shit put me out of commission, dog. And I hope I don't. I hope I don't like start getting them all the time. I don't. I don't really know what makes you get them. I don't know, man. It was. It was not fun. It's not but... like. It's not like. I'll just. Sometimes I will just get headaches, but it's like it's not the same thing. Like I don't know why it's different. I don't know why your body's just like you know what. I think this one's gonna be a migraine. Yeah. Like, I <clears throat> definitely. There's definitely a difference. I, no, yeah, I'm sure there's an online article that explains it too, like why why you get a migraine instead of a headache, and it probably is like drink more of water and eat kale, and you won't get migraines as much or something. But there's always some remedy that I just I don't know. Hopefully I don't knock on wood, knock on case case. Um, but so you went to McDonald's. Yeah. What did you get? Mcchicken cheeseburger, large fry. Went for the gangbang. Damn. Yeah, really did gang it gang. to him. Yep, that's crazy. That's a that's a that's a meal right there. At, yeah, my, at my ten thirty at night. That's... What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to like. So I tried starting. So your the diet's keto. going good. Then. Yeah. Well, I tried <laughs> starting it, but you'll get. So you'll get the keto flu, which is totally. like if you stop eating carbs, like just boom, you go. I experienced withdrawal. it. I didn't. I didn't like get actual symptoms of being sick. Yeah, but I'm. I'm just. I don't. First off, I don't have any more of those shakes. Yeah. I gotta get more. I gotta buy my action. You I, that was better like a little, pay up. Yeah, that was like a little tester thing to yeah. see if I even liked them. I wanted to make sure I liked them, so I'm I'm gonna order this next check. I'm gonna order them, and then the other problem is our house isn't really geared for it right now. Like you open the pantry, there's fucking bagels, there's fucking bread, there's chips. Like there's so many temptations. So when I'm like hungry, instead of grabbing something healthy, I'll just go, oh, this is quicker, and it's like a bag of chips. Right. So like you know, me and me and Mrs. Soup both want to start doing this diet. So mm-hmm. we were like, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stop buying the junk food, get rid of the junk food in the house, which means eat it. We're not gonna throw it out. Like, right. Got, gonna, it's gotta go somewhere. Yeah, I'm not gonna just be one of those people that's like, well, I'm starting a diet and just like throws out 
fifty dollars yeah. of food like, that like those like those starving kid like, or something. Like those six hundred pound life shows where they would go yeah. they would like they go just, like, in start and throwing out all the like, stuff. It's like bro, just like, at least donate, donate it. Yeah. yeah, right? <laughs> I always used you got to the think garbage that. bags out. They're like, all right, all this to the 40 jars Waffles of peanut Waffles gotta go. 40 jars of peanut butter in the dump truck. <laughs> like Um Yeah, so you gotta you gotta get you gotta work through that first and eat it. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of like I made a list of yeah. foods I would like to enjoy before I fully commit. Uh, mm-hmm. so um, my plan is now about like this next week coming up, I'm just going to like every night I'm going to have like a meal of a food I really like. And then obviously while I'm doing the diet, I will have a cheat day, but only for dinner. Can I, can I weigh in? Weigh in. Not actually. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be, weigh ourselves. I'd be embarrassed. <laughs> no, no. Um, in this conversation, I will say this. Okay. I, I did have find some success doing this this low carb no carb shit and i want to say what i did that i think would benefit you as well Mm. and what i'm doing technically right now i'll take a spoon of peanut butter every so often i'm not as hard as i was like in like january february not doing it as hard as i was sorry (laughs) is that what you're laughing at no i was just laughing at thinking i wasn't as hard as i was no i I thought about nutella when we were oh, younger growing up and just eating Nutella. I can't, I can't buy that. I cannot buy jars of Nutella. Peanut butter is good um, if I've like exerted energy and it's like I need a little – Yeah, little it's got like a good amount of proteins but, and healthy oils and but stuff. But like after I have like two scoops of peanut butter, I'm like tapped. Nutella, I would eat until I puked. Like, you would just eat the jar. Like – you would just oh hook it up like a, like a fucking feed bag. Yeah, like that shit. I, I actually like – can't have that in my house. So it's dangerous. Um, there's but, a reason we don't have any either. I'd probably do the same shit. I'd go to spread some on like some bread, mm-hmm. and then I would just sit there and go the jar. But the jar is just right there. Yeah, it's right. I could just, I could just. Why is it just, so just, fucking good? It Why has, the fuck it has no I'm business? Pissed. It has no business I'm like, being I'm so mad about it. Because I've tried like, have you ever tried like hazelnut spread? Like, yeah, but tries but like Nutella. Nutella. It's like, like what did the they same. fucking put in nutella man like that cocaine may- oh i hope so <laughs> it's got to be that because <laughs> there's no reason for it to be so different than bro, just like hazelnut spread bro they loaded that shit up with like perk 30s and shit <laughs> it's a perk 30 sandwich right it there it's fucking got so the, in the factory they've got like a grinder just grinding up the fucking perk uh, just pour that right in there <laughs> like mixing that it is so it'll keep them coming back Oh man, I I want to talk to the guy who made Nutella and like, first thing I want to say is fuck you, and then I want to say I love you. Like, <laughs> like fuck you, but I love you. Um, so but seriously though, what I was gonna say is, do you guys have um Marianos around here? Yes. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I gotta do a quick. Quick technical check. <laughs> Bro, she can't look like that. And Stop recording? No, okay. It's recording? Yeah, it scared me. Okay, it, we're, we're, we're still we're recording? Good. We're good. Okay. Yeah, it's scared, no, it's scared, that scared me. Let's so, keep that in. We're keeping that in. That's funny. It's, it's funny, yeah. I was just <laughs> like, oh. just, yeah. No, so normally what happens in, they must have updated it, but normally in audition when you're recording, the little red circle turns into like a stop tri- or stop square, Uh huh. but it's still a red circle. And I was like, bro, what the what the fuck? Did it yeah. break? And I went over there and looked, and then like, the little thing is, is still moving. So. so it's recording. It is recording, but that scared okay. the shit out of me. I was like, wow, it's going so well. And then all of a sudden my brain's like, what's wrong? Why is it going so well? What did you fuck up? <laughs> Imagine 20 minutes just gone. I mean, that yeah. was, that conversation we'd never be able to get back, and it was great. It was it's a, a good. It's a good episode love, so far. Yeah, Nutella. We do have a Mar- uh, we do have a Mariano somewhere. It's not super close, but okay. it is. So like there's probably other driving distance. there's probably other grocery stores that do this, but um, Mariano's. What I've been doing lately is they have um, pre made meals. Mm. Like so, I've been. It's basically meal prepping. Yeah, like, but like what what what's the cost on those? Because I have seen okay. them other places, and it's always like. Mm. Okay, I'll give you. A, I'll break it down like this. I. Um, so for one package of, um, like lemon herb chick grilled chicken, basically for like three, 
like two really big fillets and one like medium sized fillet, nine forty nine. Okay, it's not terrible. Not awful, not awful at all. Um, and it's cooked. It's like ready to go. Like you just throw it in in the um, air fryer, oven, whatever for not even ten minutes, and you just heat it up. But it's like what's crazy is I got so I bought like five meals. Okay, because I was like, I wanna, I wanna do it like this because I've done it before, and they have like, not only do they have like chicken, but they have like a uh, roast beef, um, other like pulled pork, like just like a bunch of different meats, and it's like prepared and like sautéed already, and, and like most of the time it's on like a medley of like like vegetables or like fruits or something like that, or whatever, whatever it pairs with it. <clears throat> so, um. I got like three of the chicken and then I got like two of the roast beef and I didn't eat the chicken like right away. I ate it like two days later and it still kept really well and it was so juicy and like good. Like I thought maybe like after like two days of it being like not f- completely fresh anymore, like it is because yeah. it's like packaged, but it's not like in the freezer. It's like cooked. It's been cooked for two days. I thought it was going to be some like, you know hard as a rock like fucking, hockey puck yeah no dude, on leather it was really good it was like marinated or whatever really really good um and like it's it's as cheap as like it would cost pretty much to just like buy it and make it yourself kind of so i would try looking into that even if it's not like what you not like you know every meal of the day but like you know i got five meals and it's like i don't eat that much but you know I snack. I'm like a grazer. So like I might wake up like this, this morning I had like some peanuts and like a cup of oatmeal and like a coffee and like that, that, that like, I'm like good for hours on that shit. Like, you know, I get the protein, I get, I get the carbs, like just a little bit of carbs that I need. Um, but then for like, for like dinner, I, I normally don't eat three times a day to be fair. I, whether I should or I shouldn't, I don't. Uh, I've started to now. I, which which works out for those keto shakes because I'm probably gonna do breakfast and lunch as those shakes. Yeah, and then we have a meal plan. I think I showed you that the meal planning app I have. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It, it does like the keto for two dinners, so mm-hmm. like me and her can do that. And then it, it's nice because you just pick ones you want and you can send that shit right to Instacart and just have the groceries straight delivered. Like it's all yeah. integrated. But yeah, I would I would potentially look into if that. I was rich and I could afford that. Instacart is a scam. Dude, they all are. Dude, I was so hungry the other day. Oh, I, I was in to, pain. I can't wait to hear this. I was in pain. Uh-huh. And I was like, I require sustenance. So I go onto DoorDash. It's getting bizarre. And I'm it, like. It's getting bizarre. Uh, I'm like, all right. Going on to DoorDash. I go on to DoorDash. I start kind of scrolling through. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, let me see what we got. What are my options, right? And mm-hmm. it was like, oh, quickest things near you. I was like, oh, that's good because I'm fucking hungry. Yeah. And like, I can't stress this enough. I'm hungry. No, I'm just mm-hmm. So no, there's I'm, a difference just... between hungry and. <sighs> it's like it's like if I pull up at the drive thru I'd be I'd be like caveman grunting at them, and I'd start punching the machine until they gave me food. Mm. Like that's the point I was at. I feel that. So I was like, I need I need food because all you've been eating is uh, caramel shakes. No, I've no, 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 I've been off of that shit. But the okay. thing was, I was doing that shit where I got like hyper fixated on work. No eating when that happens. Yeah. Yep. And then all of a sudden it was like fucking 3 p.m. and I hadn't eaten all day, and I was like, oh god, wait, I need food. When you so, can feel it. That's yeah. The worst. No, that 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 was like the pain. Like my stomach was like it was like that turning feeling of like oh like you need food now you're in pain. Yep. And the problem was everything in the house was like just kind of junk food. Yep. So I was like, all right, well, like... Just, like, snacks and shit. And and it's, like, it's not a full meal. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, fast food at that point would be better than sitting down and destroying an entire bag of Thaiene peanuts. Yeah, or, like, like a bag of chips. Honey buns or what? Yeah. You you have some creative shit up there. I've seen it. But, like... So I'm on there and I start looking and I'm Cosmic like, all right, brownies. Like, what, what do we, what do we got? What's going on? What are we doing? What are we, what are we buying? And yeah. there's like, you know, five guys. I'm like, all right, well, I've never tried a five guys out here. Oh my God. Why was well, that? Well, hold on. Wait, wait. I was like, I've never tried one out here. Could have been a location thing. I was like, maybe, maybe I'll take a peek. I mean, I've heard they're expensive, but how bad could it really be? Bro. So I click, I kind of put the order together and then mm-hmm. I look at the subtotal in the cart and I'm like, Mm-mm. so I like delete the cart. I go back. I'm like, all right, what else do we got? Okay, wait, wait, wait. 
what was the number you were working with? I so the number I was working with was almost like thirty dollars. Yeah, twenty eight ninety five for like a burger and fries. Cause yeah, cause like the burgers are sixteen dollars each or yep. some shit, and then the fries are like five or six dollars or mm-hmm. some shit. Yep. And I'm like, bro, the the three times I've eaten at a Five Guys, I've demanded refunds, and I've never done that before in my life. Yeah. Like I've never once enjoyed, and I've never gone there and went, wow. What an amazing place to eat food. <laughs> so, like, so just it was just pure curiosity. So at this point, I was just like, maybe it's cheap enough, and I'll give it a try, see how it is, because all the reviews are like, whoa, this is amazing. Yeah. You know, no, not for 30 fucking dollars. So, Sorry. Before you go into this next one, I wanted to say something about Five Guys real quick. I watched a video. It was like about Five Guys and why it's so expensive. Mm. Basically them, like, it was, it was like a sponsor. There's a bunch of excuses. Go ahead. No, it was absolutely <laughs> because I was curious because I'm like, if it's this expensive, there has to be like a breakdown. There has to be something. They had to spend three hundred dollars on all the fucking bags of potatoes laying around the restaurant that they don't use. Well, that I've actually never walked into a Five Guys. No, oh, I have. The, the, the couple we went to, they had like fucking potato yeah, bags. It, it's like a it's like everywhere. a peanut allergy person's worst nightmare. <laughs> um, but no, they, they they said that apparently. You know, every burger comes with every, uh, comes with two patties. Yeah. No, it doesn't. No, it does. No, it doesn't. Not on DoorDash, it don't. <laughs> you get to fucking add that extra patty for another $3. Oh, well, something about the meat, and it was a bunch of bullshit, but anyways, go ahead. Tell me about it. No, I, I, I don't know. Maybe they do come with two patties, but let I me thought tell you that something. was one of the things. Let me tell you something. When it says cheeseburger and then you have an option for a double cheeseburger right next to it, right. am I getting four fucking patties <laughs> when I buy that one then? I, maybe it was something about how, like, each patty, maybe the weight of each patty. Those equals... are smash burgers, bro. They do smash burgers there. They take that shit, they go, <laughs> and then they get this fucking thin. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm not team I five know. guys. No I way. want it to be good, but I yeah. don't want to also spend thirty dollars. So I was yeah. like, "All right." Mm-mm. So I go back. I start kind of going through more shit. I, the the Dos, Bo, Dos Bros place yeah. you ordered from was on there. Yep. I was like, "All right, let me take a look," because yeah. all the reviews are like, "Bro, I wish I could bring. I'm gonna bring this to Chipotle and like show them what real Mexican food tastes like." Right. Bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna go there with a bunch of their business cards to Chipotle and hand them out. And I'm like, "Oh wow, this place must be really good if people are trying to commit acts of vandalism for it in Chipotle." <laughs> yeah. So like, it's a good I, competitor, man. I start putting together my order and then it's still like i mean it wasn't bad it is more expensive than chipotle like by a couple bucks makes sense i think i don't know the problem is i started realizing something no matter where i was ordering from i was spending 30 dollars. 30 dollars yeah it's a 30 dollar holler i was like all right i'm starting to wonder like what the fuck is going on what is is (laughs) is everywhere just like really that inflated or is it doordash because i remember thinking i remember like we had this conversation that doordash like puts three extra dollars on every item unbelievable and i was like all right fuck it let me go somewhere i know by heart white White castle Castle. i knew you were gonna (laughs) say that they have for eighteen dollars before tax. They have the ten sliders, the ch- sack of chicken rings, and the, now the sack that's a of fries. fucking deal. So I'm like, all right, I know for a fact this shit costs that much. Now I go on there to DoorDash, and it's like sixteen bucks. Yep. And I'm like, oh, why is it cheaper? And I like click it, and then it's like, okay, you know, select your things. I'm like, oh, all right. And then it was like, select your fries, and I was like, uh, the only option is fries. So I click it, and it's plus one dollar. Yep. And then I was like, oh, select your chi- chicken rings. And it's only chicken rings. So I click it, plus $1. So now I'm at 18 mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, because like the fries and the chicken rings. So now it comes out to 18 Yeah. And then I scroll down. Select your drink. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I click that. It's $2. Now we're at 20 Yeah. And this is all before fees, baby. Before, before the fees, <laughs> which I don't even pay because I have the DoorDash. But then the problem is, here's what here's the problem. And and I've I worked for DoorDash before I even used DoorDash. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, I'll be a DoorDash driver. I never used it. Okay. But now I understand why no one was fucking tipping me. <laughs> You're ringing out the card at $30, then they have the fucking audacity after charging you, like, fucking six extra dollars <laughs> out of nowhere. Yeah. And then convenience fees and service fees, then they have the audacity to go, and how would you like to give your driver a tip? Yeah. Would you like give him $4? No, no, okay. Yeah, yeah. Three? And it like, says and it says at the bottom, which is so funny that they have to write this. It says 100% of the tip goes to your dasher. Yeah. No shit. 
Well, I would hope so at that yeah. point. Yeah. Like, but it's just funny because then I feel bad because now I'm like, I'm checking out. I'm like, okay, I got it to like 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, all right. Oh, the fucking tip. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> it mm-hmm. always sets it to like $5 or some higher amount. Yep. And then you can like click down and it makes me feel bad. And I put this down to $1. Yeah, <laughs> well, because it's like you can enter an other amount, but I always mm-hmm. just use the predefined ones because it's kind of based off the cart and the percentages. Yeah. Yeah. So like the cheapest I ever get for tips is 3 dollars mm-hmm. which isn't bad because i always order around lunchtime which means they always have the bonuses active for mm-hmm. drivers so like for my order they're probably getting like four dollars fifty cents like for that delivery or yeah. whatever which sounds really shitty because i was a driver and i know that's like yeah. the worst although to be fair when i worked during rushes like that i mean we used to pull 150 dollars a day yeah because you could just isn't bad see i try not to get wrapped up in like what i what i spend on tipping by the way i don't Use DoorDash. Hmm. I thought you were like, by the way, I don't tip. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I def, I'll throw them a buck or two. Like, I don't care. Um, uh, Cause like, I just, <laughs> I don't, here, here, I don't fuck it here's, know. here's the thing. When I'm at a restaurant, obviously, you know, you're, if you get, you get the bill and it's going to show you like eh, 18%. Yeah. I, I just spent, you know, an hour, two hours being waited on and, and, you know, can I get you a drink? Can you do this? Blah, blah, blah. All the shit that weighs into that decision at the end of like, yeah, of course, you know, 15 to 18%, whatever, like here goes your tip. And I think it's, it's also the fact that like when you're out, you're paying for like, you're not getting upcharged. I mean, yeah, you go there, like, like, you, <laughs> you're like, just this paying is this meal. This you, is how much it costs. Like, like, like I, I get too wrapped up in like, because anytime I order from DoorDash, even if I, because more times than not, I go through the process of ordering it and then I, I like price it out and then I exit it and get my fat ass in the car and fucking go get it. It's always cheaper. We'll do that. We'll, we'll look up like Chipotle. We'll be like, oh, we really want Chipotle. We'll, we'll put our usual order in and it'll be like 40 something dollars. I'm like, okay, yeah. but that's like $32 if I go to the store. And I always, I'll do that and I take a screenshot and then I go and order the same thing and it's just like. 10 to 15 dollars cheaper you know what i do insane i have the chipotle app and i'll like yeah go on there if you order delivery through the chipotle app it still uses doordash but you get chipotle's prices yeah yeah which is fucking fun like even bona bona beef does the same thing they use doordash but if Mm -hmm. you order from their app you get your rewards and points and everything but they use doordash but you're paying like the the correct price yeah not the doordash markup which is crazy but i'm i'm i don't know if i'm nuts but I'm pretty sure that that like extra one or two dollars goes up to an extra three or four during like lunch rush time. I think that's true. Like I um, swear, because sometimes I'll it, order shit. Like I'll order the same thing. Mm-hmm. I'm a like really habitual creature. Yeah, yeah. I'll, and, and you I'll also, order the same shit. You and have it'll a DoorDash pass times a day. Yeah, right. So you so want to use it? So I'm supposed to be getting the same. I'm supposed to be saving money, man. Yeah, right. They'll always be like. Oh look, we wiped out the five ninety nine fee, and I'm over here still looking at like a fucking forty dollar thing for one thing. I'm like, because you fucking charged me like yeah. three extra dollars for the item. Of course, you're gonna be like, oh, we made this go away. Like, so you're not special. At first, when I didn't understand how DoorDash worked, I think we might have you might have broke this down to me, but I thought that like the f- the reason why the prices were higher was because DoorDash was just doing that to skim money off of the restaurants, but apparently, it's the restaurants raising the price because DoorDash takes such a large percentage. Yeah. Which like it's still DoorDash's fault. No, it is still 100% like, their fault. They they take such a high percentage that like these companies can't survive unless they hike up the prices and it's just like it's inflating the Which is the why they market. will like try to urge users to use their own stuff like Chipotle's right. ordering app and like Bona's ordering app. Yeah. Like they'll encourage them to use their apps because they get a hundred percent of that fee, and then they just charge a delivery for DoorDash. Yeah, and then like they're making all the money, and mm-hmm. all DoorDash is getting is that delivery fee, and then the driver gets the tip. See, in in twenty twenty, when everyone was was locked inside, like I feel like these apps got greedy, like low key. I feel like they got greedy because they were like, ooh, like rubbing their hands together, like everyone's got to be inside. We could really make some money here. Um, when when so many businesses aren't making money, like those those companies were thriving, and I think we're still seeing that like you know post like pandemic kind of like bullshit 
from the from those fucking apps where they're like but it's never gonna go away yeah right exactly like because that's the thing they realized they could get away with it during yeah. the pandemic and now they're and just now like gonna run with it because yeah, no one's gonna run with it they're not gonna they're not gonna lower the prices how why would they do that that's insane you know what's crazy actually is i oh no wait did you what did so did you end up ordering anything oh yeah i got burger king so you got burger king yeah so you went you went through like four or five I, different I just, places yeah and the prices were so much and then i was like i don't feel like mcdonald's so i guess it's burger king what'd you get from burger king uh, i just got like a double offer with cheese which didn't turn out too bad. I think I only spent like seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> I took out a small loan. So I, what I was gonna say though, when we were talking about you ordering the shit, and because this was last night. No, this was like two days ago. Oh, I thought so. When so last night, so like night, last night, uh, we just went to go pick up our roommate from work, and we got McDonald's because it's okay, right near there. Okay. Last night, I went on a mission. When I, I was saying like, I left at like twelve thirty, mm-hmm. I didn't get home till like one thirty. I Here's spent like, like an hour long mission for ice cream. I left the house with my eyes set on steak and shake because okay. if anyone doesn't know steak and shake, most of the time they're 24 hours. So there's one right down the street, literally an earshot. It's like fucking not even a mile away. So I jump in the whip, boom, go to steak and shake. And I haven't had steak and shake in a while. So I was going to get the Nutella shake. Got to gotta get in there and get that 7x7. Seven seven. Have you ever tried the Nutella shake? I have not. Have you tried the 7x7? Seven seven? Yeah, isn't that, um, what is it again? Seven patties and seven pieces of cheese oh, for no, a I burger. Haven't. I haven't. It's part of their secret menu. Mm. You can order whatever number by whatever number. See, that's like an extra level of like fat fuck that I haven't ascended to yet. Maybe one day. <laughs> I knew one person that could eat it and they would order it and the chef hated Wait, them. Wait, seven... Patties, patties with seven, seven slices of cheese. So seven patty cheese, patty cheese, patty cheese, patty cheese, patty cake, patty cake, bakers, man. Fourteen total, right? Yeah. 14. So there's se- well, there's seven patties and there's seven pieces of cheese. So there's fourteen pieces, but they use a smash burger, so it's not like it's not like it's like ah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I went. I Damn, pulled now up. I want s- fucking steak and shake. You asshole. Sorry. All right. Well, maybe maybe after. I don't think I have one out here. We'll find it. <laughs> Um, we'll find so, it. So this is just the beginning of my journey, okay? Right. So Thinking, was Steak and Shake not an option? Pull up to Steak and Shake, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. For this new tale this shake. Is, listen, this is riveting news, okay? This is this is why we're the only podcast on the internet, by the way. Because you can't get a story like this anywhere else. Pull up to the Steak and Shake. It's under construction. What the fuck is that about? It's under Google, construction. Google told me that they were open. Come to find out. I dude, I never fucking trust those Google times. I, they're always wrong. I pull up and it looks like they're closed completely. They're completely closed. It the well, there was a you know those huge garbage bins? Yeah. Completely blocking the driveway. So by the time I could see it in my peripheral, it's out. It's out of the question. Because I could already tell the driveway's blocked. But I'm still thinking like maybe it's it's dine in only. Maybe you gotta go in and get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I pull up. And I look out my window, and the inside of it looked like a set of Steak and Shake, like on a Hollywood set, because it was just torn apart, and half of it was like fake. Like half of it was like it wasn't built yet. It was made out of cardboard, like like the podcast was. They were doing a whole renovation, apparently. Hmm. And I go back on Google, and I'm like, "Am I crazy? Like, what the fuck's going on?" And you know, it's like Google can't update that fast. Apparently, I don't know what it is. But I'm like, okay, great. 100% cam. <sighs> I know. They, the owner I mean, has to change the information right, for right. that fast. But. So I go back on Google and I'm looking up Steak and Shake, nearest one, and it said like 50 miles and it was like somewhere in fucking Wisconsin, like out the fucking way. I'm like, nope. Somewhere in Omaha, Nebraska. Like too far. I'm good. It's, it's I'm already, I already feel like I wasted time. I'm like, at this point, I'm like, I should have just fucking went to sleep. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. But... Then I'm thinking, okay, well, I got to finish this mission. If not for anyone else, it's for me. I have to do it. Like it's principle now. Yeah. Now, now it's just it's not it's even not, about yeah. it's. It's not even about what eat, what ice cream I even get because you know how every it's just place like you need to fucking get. I need one. to do it. Like you've set out on the side quest. You have to complete it to get the experience. Exactly. The closest one, the closest place that has ice cream to this steak and shake was McDonald's. Okay. Pull up. Nah, machine's not gonna be working. Not working. 
I mean, that's but that's never work. But that's like that, you know. That's on you. Yeah, no, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me go to McDonald's. I'm sure their ice cream midnight. machine is working. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it wasn't working. Um, which which is bullshit. And if anyone is listening that wants to know the truth, is it's just they just ran out of ice cream that day, and they tell the workers to say that the ice cream machine is not bro- is is broken. And if they were just to be honest with me and say something like. We ran out of ice cream for the day. I feel like I would I would feel better, right, about hearing it. But then it being broken, it's like then fucking fix it. It's literally like a a nationwide thing that someone sat in a room and was like, "Listen, guys, when we're out of ice cream for the day, just say it. The machine is broken. Don't tell them the truth, because like, why would you? Because I that? guess like, whoa, we could never run out. We're McDonald's, right? But it's like. But that's like real. If it's broken, then like that like, just makes they, me think: fix your fucking machines. The problem is they all also sometimes they are broken. Apparently, oh. the company that leases out the machines to McDonald's, the McDonald's employees can't make the repairs. Right. They have to have a company representative from that company drive out there, fly out there, whatever, to fix the machine. Yeah. So it's not like you know if something goes wrong with the grill, like they got a McDonald's a, a Mick technician that'll <laughs> come in. Yeah. And with his little Mick screwdriver and Mick wrench or whatever. Yeah. But like for those <laughs> Mick ice cream machines, they yeah. don't have a Mick technician with the Mick wrench or Mick screwdriver. They have to outsource the Mick to the Mick company that Mick does it. Interesting. Well, you Mick when, fuck. When you say it like that, <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. So sometimes it can't actually be broken. And that's why sometimes it'll be broken for like multiple days. Yeah. Like you'll just come back the next day and be like, maybe they were just out. You got ice cream? Nah, it's broken. Fuck. Well, like, it's nine in the morning. What do you mean it's broken? I felt bad because the second I heard them say it was broken, I said, cap. <laughs> I said, you're a fucking liar. No, I just was like, <laughs> our ice cream machine is broken. Fuck you. You're a lying piece of <laughs> you're shit. Fucking, you're just out of it. <clears throat> um, but go, yeah, go in the back, Deborah, yeah. and get me more ice cream. <laughs> Cause I won't, I, I do always think the first thing I think is they're lying, but Maybe they're telling the truth. I don't know. Maybe, Whatever. maybe they just didn't want you pulled up at twelve thirty and they're like, I don't make this fat fuck on ice cream cone. It's broken. <laughs> that that could be that could be it too. I mean it, it literally only takes a second of <laughs> <laughs> they just push a button, it just comes out. But hey man, to each their own. So I leave. Um they they like offered me a free some like something and I still turned you it down. You want a free cookie? They they act that's what it was. They they said we'll give you a cookie, a complimentary cookie, and I was like, Skrr! Like I was oh, gone. Yeah. McDonald's cookies. I was like, it. I'm not really interested in that, but thanks. Anyways, gone. You now, know what, you know what? If they would have given you a free, the fucking, do you remember the apple pies? Do they still yes. have those? Uh, maybe, but those things were smacking. If they gave me an apple oh, pie, those things are fucking great. If they would have gave me an apple pie, I would have said, give me four or five more <laughs> like, I'll for buy free. Them. I've been like, you don't understand. I'll how... buy them for free. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a traumatic experience for me. I'm going to need about 10 apple pies to recover from this. And if you can have Deborah, the one that couldn't get the ice cream machine work, just come out here and hand feed them to mm-hmm. me in my car. Those were great. Those, those apple pies, man. Those apple pies were no joke. Oh, yeah. You barely touched your crust, crushed ice water. Yeah, I realize this could be really hard to drink with the tentacles. <laughs> I'm going to attempt it, though. because I. Kinda... You hear that? Yeah. The sound of ice crushing, you mean? Ladies and gentlemen, you hear that crushing? It's the sound. Oh, I'm choking. <laughs> choking on ice crushed ice. Hey, the good news is you can't actually choke on it because it'll just melt in your throat. I never even thought about shit like I that. I almost died once on an ice cube. Yeah, you just waited. <laughs> I just waited. <laughs> you just had to wait. I was just like, it was one of those, bi- you know when you, okay, before like fridges, Bro, when you had so... to use like an ice cube tray, and it was always like the world's biggest fucking ice cube, yeah. and I was like fucking 10 years old, Okay. and I was like sucking on it, and uh-huh. I, it, I just was rolling it around <laughs> with my tongue, and I did, it like slid to the back of my throat, just, <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was, was just, was your mom just like, wait, no, I, I was panicking, and I was like, <laughs> like freaking out and i couldn't find like my parents because they were just like wherever they were yeah and i kept like trying to swallow (laughs) it was like a fucking pelican i couldn't feel bad for laughing because like it sounds very traumatic it was funny because then eventually i just i was like running around the house like (laughs) like trying to fucking and then it turned to water it just it just like slid down slowly because it was melting and then eventually i was like (laughs) and it, it did that thing you ever swallow a mass of food and you just feel it go all, uh-huh. all the way down? It did that. It was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's like once it got past the little airway block, 
I just had to live with the fact that well, I was feeling an ice cube. It's nothing worse than the time I swallowed a bottle cap. Oh, my God. This still never came out, huh? Nope. Never came out. I, it had to have come out. Definitely did. Maybe you just I, digested it, bro. Those bottle caps are shitty plastic. Like, the acid of our stomach's no pretty strong. Way. No way. You just... Dude, you were... You were I the, think... Yo, you were the first ever to ingest microplastics in a high dose. Yeah. <laughs> I, old I was the cap, guinea pig. Like, I tried it out, and it, it turns yeah. out you could live from it. And guys, they were like, all right, guys. I swallowed a bottle cap. Um... I feel like you told the story on the podcast before, right? I, pr- I probably did. I'm not even going to tell it again because it's just as simple as that. I swallowed, I swallowed a, bottle, a cap. bottle cap. But look, <laughs> I'm still I'm still driving in my car. It's right, still 1245. Yeah. So McDonald's didn't have your yeah. ice cream needs. They didn't have it. So I hightail it. Overwise, <clears throat> closed. Uh, this is twelve thirty at night. We're talking. About. I, I don't know how late. It's only open, the man. big players right now. It's only the the, the twenty four hour. Well, especially after like, after COVID now, it's like nothing's open late anymore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even if it was, fucking Walmart's disappointing me. Yeah, yeah. I miss walking around Walmart ah, at 3 in the morning. Walmart. Mm. Nothing hits the same. You don't see the shit you see anywhere else but at 3 a.m. at a Walmart. Um, so, you know, I'm driving. Now I'm thinking, what do I do? Um, I'm just turning it, turning it into like an experience at this point. I'm listening to music. I'm... I'm it's a beautiful night. Windows down. Got you know. Windows down. Volume up. Yeah, and I'm just cruising I'm because just getting noise complaints. Yeah, you know. Um, I've got the bass just <laughs> playing tight beats on YouTube, yeah. making music. Hey, just gonna say it's too much bass. They did. That makes sense. <laughs> so, where do I go next? Where do right. I go? I don't know, man. I don't know your area very well. But, it's like, what tw- else it's 12 is fucking... 30 yeah, it's like 1230. It's like, what the fuck else is open other than, like, McDonald's and, I guess, Steak and Shake? I didn't know they were 24-hour. They are. I hightail it to Burger King. Are they still open? Ours closes at, like, 10. They have a 24-hour one. Oh, okay. You got, like, a 24-hour just, just a town White over. Castle is also 24-hour, but I don't think they have ice cream. I wasn't, I wasn't interested in the White Castle ice cream. I don't even know they have ice cream. No, I think not. about it. They probably just have, like, sweets. Yeah. You could probably get some like White Castle dessert. Dessert burger. Um <laughs> dessert uh, slider. So I um I go to Burger King. Mm-hmm. Their ice cream machine is broken. But they don't say it like the way the McDonald's says it. They just say we're out of ice cream, which it's commendable. Thank you, Burger King. Um, you know, that's why you're, you're the king. Um, they said, Fucking we don't have you know, we and I'm like, Do you guys have any sweets? And they're like, We have uh, uh, At this point, they ch- thought you were high. Did you- <laughs> I was sober, sober as hell. Surprisingly, some um, dude pulling up at twelve thirty, being like, "You got ice cream? No. Do you have any sweets? <laughs> Do you have anything at all? Like, no. They had a they had cheesecake. What are you even good for? They had cheesecake. Wasn't I, I like uh, I, their cheesecake's can't, not? You can't drink a cheesecake. I'm really, I'm trying not to with find, that attitude. I'm trying to get a milkshake going, you know what I mean? But you wanted to, yeah, okay. Yeah. I wanted, I wanted a, ice cream or just I, anything. Yeah, I, a At milkshake. this point, you were yeah. like. Because <laughs> I was, originally I wanted, you know, I wanted that shake. Oh, Wendy's. What about Wendy's? Didn't go to Wendy's. What I ended up doing was I went to Checkers. Okay. Got me a chocolate shake. At this point, it's, it had been so much time. Energy has been exerted. Time has been wasted. I got. The shake, funnel cake fries, and a, a chocolate chip cookie brownie thing they call a brookie. Uh, so a brookie. So I ate. I ate that brookie was disgusting. Funnel cake fries we all know are delicious. Ate that in the car. Ended up downing the shake before I even got home. Because at this point it was just. It was a reward. And I was like two towns over. Like, I'm, I'm delirious at this point. It's four in the morning. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know where I am. I haven't Some slept Harold in days. Kumar shit. Yeah, I know. Um, I, but I got home at like 1.30. Uh, empty handed. Because I ate everything on the way home. And I just felt this weird sense of accomplishment and defeat. Mm. Because I wanted to like go get something and like bring it back home and like maybe watch something and like enjoy it like right. at home but i just but was like, like so just annoyed at the at how long it took that i just was like let me just while i'm driving let me just eat this and let me get that chocolate shake and um 
you know, checkers, they're good, but they're not known for their milkshakes. Like Steak and Shake, it's in the name. It's in the fucking name. It's in the name. It's in the fucking name. So I was no disappointed. Steak, though. Just steak burgers. Yeah. But, you know, um, oh, man, I wanted to talk about a movie I saw, but we don't have time. No, we, got, see, we got enough time for that thing I wanted to say. Oh. Being old. Oh, yeah. And people love to hear about that. Yeah. Don't people love being told about old things? No, I just thought that was funny. I, I got I got two things. No, I got one thing I can mention, but yeah, tell me. Well, I mean, we already talked about it, really, but I just thought it was interesting. I was having a conversation. Yeah. And someone brought up that, uh, like, Linkin Park is considered classic rock now, because it's 20 years old. Yeah, it's dad rock. Yeah. Butt rock, as we call but, it. But it's even more interesting, because that classification falls under cars. What do you mean? So, like, a 2003 Toyota Camry is considered a classic car now. A 2003? Yeah, because it's 20 years old. 20 years is the mark for classics. Damn, I can get 100 years is the mark for antiques. I can get a classic car for two grand. (laughs) Whooping in a But it's crazy because you think about like classic cars, like when we were growing up, was like the 69 Camaros and like the the muscle cars, right? And then now it's like kids growing up. It's like, oh yeah, that's a classic car. 2003 Toyota Camry. Fucking shitbox. 12. Yeah, that's. That's wild. You were it's saying it's just crazy to think about that. Did you say something about In Sync too? I think that was funny. Yeah, that we were we were. I was watching a streamer who was playing In Sync, and that's yeah. why this all got brought up because yeah. I was feeling old. Yeah, listening to it. They were talking about Aaron Carter and In Sync and and all of that, and I was like, oh man, I went to an Aaron Carter concert. Like that that makes me feel old. Yeah. So my buddy was like, yeah, you want to really feel old? Yeah. Fucking Linkin Park is classic rock. And I was like, no, what do we call the Beatles then? Ancient rock? I think so. Mesozoic era rock. So what is, so in sync is, is that classic pop? Yeah. What does that fall under? I guess. I don't know. He just said like classical music because it's like classics. You know, my favorite classical music musician is in sync. My favorite classical musician is Justin Timberlake. Yeah, yeah. His, Beethoven's nice, but... Yeah, Justin Timberlake's classical record, the first classic piece he put out, uh, Rock Your Body. Oh, man. The problem is he didn't really go solo like that until later. He might not... That might not be considered... Classical. Classic, yeah, yeah. I don't know, but you want to know what... You, you know, it's so funny. Is since I haven't been putting my topics on the board... Mm-hmm. So what I, I wanted to talk about, um, Bo was afraid, which is a movie I saw, but this movie is so intense that 10 minutes wouldn't even cut it. Sorry. Seven minutes. So I'm going to try to save it for next week. I'm going to try to do like, at least like a 20 minute, like summary and like synopsis of this whole film. And you're going to love it. You're going to absolutely love every, hearing every me time talk. Every you say that I'm going to love it, I always end up kind of... I get into it, but then it's like it's not a movie I'd go watch or anything. Um, Ari Aster, he made Midsummer. He made Hereditary. Two movies that I think you should watch. Horror movies. This one... You know I don't do horror. We've this, this one is a horror movie, but it's actually like on the genre list. It's listed as a horror comedy. The comedy's really hitting nice. Um, so... But I have that, and then I have ten dollars and forty nine cents for four Duracell batteries. That's what I have written, <laughs> and that ties in perfectly to the inflation shit we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, with like DoorDash and stuff too. <clears throat> Did you order your batteries on DoorDash? No. Is that why? I'm at Walgreens earlier. Okay. Didn't you just have this exact problem at Target? Yeah, I'm noticing it everywhere. What's going on? <laughs> you were literally just talking last week about Target and the batteries yeah. being like. <laughs> yeah, and th- that's why I. I thought this was crazy, so I'm checking out at Walgreens. What batteries do you go through, man? I wasn't looking for batteries. Oh, you just oh you just like saw like, that they like were like the the batteries that I bought at Target. I still have all like almost all of them, minus like two. But like I, I was just checking out, and you know they have all the like the checkout stuff. Mm-hmm. Grab a Reese's cup. How could I not? Yeah. I look to the left that and piece I of shit. and I see a bunch <laughs> of batteries. And I'm like, interesting. Batteries, cool. You know, what's what's the price on batteries? Dude, Duracell. What are, we, what are we looking at? What's the price? I'm I'm looking and it's it's ten forty nine and I'm like, oh, it must be like a pack of like sixteen. It was four batteries for ten ninety nine. Ten forty nine. Is I mean, like, I don't give a fuck if I sound like an eighty year old man, but like back in my day like 
seriously, like ten forty nine for four Duracell batteries? What the fuck? Bro, I could go on. Give Amazon me a heart and, attack. I can go on Amazon and get a hundred double A batteries for that price, like the Amazon basic batteries. Really? Yeah, they're fucking. I'd Put me on to that because because sure. I'm gonna need to. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look after this. Maybe the, the, okay. This I bought that hundred battery pack like before COVID, so I don't know. No, it might might be expensive now. We're gonna find out. But for but who? Who the fuck grabs that and says, wow, this is a great deal. I just saw them for 20. Like, do you think it was like marked up because it was like right near the register? Like it's those last minute grabs, you know? I don't know what it is, man. But the cashier also asked me if if I could tip too. For what? I'm just kidding. I was about to say, <laughs> for, for fucking what? You know, you know how like every place you go to now is like, would you like to tip? Like yeah, anywhere. like for anything. Imagine Walgreens. Like I can understand certain places like, you know, you go to like, say, like, okay, like like Noodles and Company does mm. tipping. Yeah. And I always think, for fucking what? Right. You you threw together like a bowl for me. You're not waiting on me. Heated You're up not... a bowl in the microwave, tossed right. it to me. Well, no, they do actually cook everything. Like they got the woks in the back and everything. That's true. That's true. Our roommate's always on cooking duty. That's true. That's true. But like. When it comes down to it, I'm just like, I feel like that should be encompassed in your pay. Normalize not tipping. Like, no, I agree. I agree. I agree. But like, I feel like, I feel like with a restaurant, it's like, you know, I want to tip because you just literally, like you were saying, you were dealing with me for two hours or whatever and like yeah, waiting yeah, yeah, on yeah. me and getting me stuff. Like that's different than like, I walked in and I was like, yeah, let me get a fucking orange chicken with, you know, I feel like whatever. That, and then they just like. Go yeah. over there. Here you go. Like that's different. Jimmy John's does that too. Oh yeah, they do tipping too, and it's like <laughs> seriously normalize not tipping uh, places that don't need. Okay, tip. how about this? Let's not let's let, let's not say that. I, I, I take that statement back. No, normalize no, no. not. That statement's fine, but yeah. you need to finish it. Normalize <laughs> not tipping places and those places just paying their employees more. Boom. That's what it should be. Because, like, Jimmy John's, you should be getting paid more. Right. And then I shouldn't have to tip you. I was going to say, like... Like, restaurants, you know, it's kind of a gray area, right? There's there's restaurants that are trying to do that. Yeah. That are trying to pay, like, a high wage. And they even say, don't tip, right? But, like, it's, it's such a deep-rooted thing, like, that's been going on for so long that it's hard to break away from that. Yeah. But, like fucking doug at jimmy john's that just fucking slapped some ham on some bread and like fucked up the mayo and then yep. destroyed the sandwich with lettuce and didn't even fucking do it right yeah doesn't deserve a tip <laughs> like you should just pay him more and not yeah. put it on me to say would you like the tip yeah no i really wouldn't because you're not a restaurant yeah. you're a disappointment doug damn Rose said, hey companies pay your employees look I had to stop going to a Jimmy John's, actually, one that was by my house, because the poor lady that kept making my unwitch was not making it right. And I'm not the type of person that says shit. Look, I'm not the whistleblower. I do not say shit. But it was like three or four times in a row, she's handing me what feels like a football in my hand, (laughs) which is supposed to be a wrap. Wrap the fucking thing. And it's just lettuce sitting in a thing that I'm like holding it. And it's like I can't get my mouth on it. I can't get around it. I, I don't know what I'm, what I'm trying to do here, but it's not – eating is not what's happening. Eating is not what's happening. <laughs> so I had, to, I had to go to another place, but yeah. Well, like the moral of the story, so everyone's clear, this is what we're saying. <laughs> because – Pay your employees. Pay – yes, companies, pay your employees more. Yeah. And for God's sake, if you're not a restaurant, don't ask for like tips. Yeah. Like, there's no point. Yeah. I could see it with certain things. The taco the taco truck by our place. Yeah. Like they'll be like, Do you want a tip? That's cool. I that, actually yeah. do because like first they're, off, they, they're cooking it everything for but me. It's not right a franchise. They don't have billions of dollars. No, yeah. It's like that's like some dude and his wife are on it. They're, de- they're definitely like So I'm like cool, like I'll tip you. Like I tip my buddy that's an artist. He'll yeah. draw art and if I really like it, I send him a little extra because it's just yeah. a dude. But like a billion dollar sandwich company doesn't need to be like and would you like to tip $2, so they can yeah. split that yeah, between the three people on duty? Like, do they even – that's another thing too is like do they even give it to like 
how much of that actually goes back to the company and how much does it go like does it actually the go tip to work does the tip gets put in and then what happens is like the end of the day like it's split between the people working at the yeah. shift time um like the biggest thing though is like if we're going to talk about jimmy johns just really quick is like delivery drivers yeah like, they make criminally underwage right 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 literally criminally like yeah. they are paid less than the minimum wage it's like four four or five bucks right be, it's well, so the minimum wage is like twelve dollars, so it's like seven now. Yeah, because it's like four dollars under. Yeah, and then that's supposed to be supplemented by people that tip, but like nobody fucking tips. Right. When they order delivery, that's I like do. that's like the one time that you should be tipping. Yeah, totally. Like, but to be fair, you should also not be like they should just also be paying this person enough right. money to be driving around and like compensate their gas because they're they're driving for a company. Yeah, totally. But like now we're talking about an ideal world where it's like, right? If I I don't know like I, if I ever ran, I because I've always wanted to run a restaurant, I would be the kind of restaurant that would do like the don't tip, and like mm. we would just pay everyone a good wage. Mm. Very you interesting. Know? I think it's a great way to do that. It, it's weird because it really throws people off. They have a few of them in California, and they have signs everywhere. You're not going to be, you don't even have a way to do it. You can't even leave a tip. So people feel like it's like they put cash on the table. They're like, don't leave cash. You don't need to tip. We pay our, our waitresses how about, like a livable wage. How about the places that add the gra- the gratuity oh, automatically? Automatically. That was the first time I ever felt like a, di- like a mix of emotions. Just how what many do I. How people did you have? Um, because normally they do that with like big parties, but like no, I've, I've never seen places do it if it's like some guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've I've noticed it in different instances. Two people, five, ten people. Like I've noticed it at different different places, and it's it's insane because they're like, oh, don't even yo, don't even trip, bro. Like we got you. Like you don't even have to do the math. We already added. Um, like 40, 50 extra bucks. That's 18%. Like, and that's nice of you to do that. Thank you, by the way. Um, so you're good. Um, and I'm like, wow, I'm not going to be the guy to be like, um, so what's up with, cause like how many fucking people probably say that? Like, you're just, you're just supposed to smile and nod and get the fuck out of there and think about it in your car and like, and, or talk about you're it like, on well, a podcast. Never going back there. <sighs> yeah. But I don't know, man, send them, send them home. But be- before that, mm. Mr. Suit. If you had a restaurant, what would you serve? Oh, it would be a soup and sandwich shop. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I like we that. Have, we have plans. A little already. bistro. Yeah, like a little bistro. We've already got plans. Brunch spot? Kind of, yeah. Close early. You close, do, you close at three. Yeah. Do the close early, open open early, close early. We've already got a whole plan laid out for it, but I can't talk about it. Yeah, yeah. NDA. Someone will steal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Every time I talk about one of my ideas that comes out. Tell me, tell me about it after the podcast. And guys, yeah, remind me before he sends you home for our uh, viewers on YouTube, audio listeners, click that download button if you haven't already. We post every week, and we never miss a week. We actually have been doing this for a year now. Don't forget to send it out to your grandma. And yeah. Your- oh yeah, today's the year episode. It's fifty-two. Yeah, I think so, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's a year. That's a year. Damn, down the drain. celebration we should have just fucking down the drain. <laughs> Wasted, man. <laughs> no, but seriously, audio listeners, hit that download button. Share it with your grandma and your mama. Every, uh, when do we drop? Every Tuesday. Tuesday. Yep. Look three, forward to 3.30 new... in the morning for audio and 3.30 p.m. for video. I should have said this in the beginning. Download. Yeah. Download this start episode. doing this in the beginning. Yeah. There's, there's a couple things we need to start doing. <laughs> we should get better at being podcast hosts. Yeah. All right, guys. Well... Anyways, Mr. Suit will send the YouTubers home. Yeah, YouTubers on me. Uh, <laughs> fucking turn this into a fucking tactical squad. Yeah. All right, break. On on my six. All right, we hope you guys enjoyed episode 52 very much. If you want, you can go ahead and leave a comment. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you like, you can click over top of him. That's going to be the video YouTube recommends for you. Click over top of me. That's going to be the playlist of all the videos. And as always, you can click on our sign to subscribe to the channel, which you really should do. Peace out, guys. See you guys next week.